Hey folks, Twisted Christian. Today I want to get into the alleged Kuwait dinar revaluation. And many gurus have been and still do today, still use that as the premise for the Iraq dinar revaluation. And I am going to prove to you today from official documents and past exchange rates information to show you that there was never a change as far as a revalue with the Kuwaiti dinar. Folks, so when I first got into the dinar, I also thought the Kuwaiti dinar revalued too. And looking at certain gurus, especially those who started way back then, and they had you pay a whole bunch of money to join their website and have special privileges, and they based their entire book and, and off of the Kuwaiti dinar revaluation. And yet today, uh, gurus are still sharing that information as far as the Kuwaiti dinar revaluation, as far as it being real. So Treasury Vault puts out a lot of articles, and I've, I've talked about them before. Uh, and as far as you know, what I really saw with some of their articles. And it says here, this is from August 22nd, 2019, three reasons the Kuwaiti dinar surge after the Iraq invasion. All right, so I just wanted to show you that, right? In, in the article, it doesn't really give you, it doesn't even give you a rate. You know, it changed from this rate to that rate. And then back in 2013, on this particular website, when they mentioned an article from 1991 reporting on the revaluation of the Kuwaiti dinar. Well, when you actually go and read the article, which right now it's not, uh, you have to subscribe to actually take a look at that article. Uh, it doesn't share any of that information. Uh, and, and, th and this website is showing part of the article. All other old dinars can be exchanged for new ones on a one-to-one -one rate until May 7th, when the old dinars became invalid. The new official rate is 347, is $3.47 American dollars for one new Kuwaiti dinar. Right, but I'm going to show you that it didn't really change. And so this is the kind of information that was prevalent back when I first started investing in the Iraq dinar and, and looking at the different gurus and they would, they would actually bring it up. Uh, I was doing some research on the Central Bank of Kuwait website and found some interesting information. And because the information is from a long time ago, right? there wasn't really internet like it is today. So the information was very difficult to find. So, but before you understand about the Kuwaiti dinar and how it was back then as far as their exchange rate policy, so I'm just going to read exactly what it says during that time period. During the period from 18th of March 1975 to the end of the year 2002, the Central Bank of Kuwait adopted an exchange rate policy pegging the Kuwaiti dinar to a weighted basket of major currencies. That policy based on the determination of the KD exchange rate on a special weighted basket of currencies. Right? They changed it to where they just they pegged it to the US dollar and then they revised that uh, several years later and went back to uh, pegging to an undisclosed weight of international currencies of Kuwaiti's major financial trade and financial partner countries. So their exchange rate was based off of and determined by other countries that they had more trade with and financial dealings with. So in the August of 1990, August 2nd is when Iraq invaded Kuwait and it ended on March in on March 25th, 1991 is when the banks reopened. So I am at uh, a government website here and going back to 1990 and looking at the exchange rates. And we're going to look at each of the reporting exchange rates with the Kuwaiti dinar. Right now, keep in mind, in August of 1990 is when the invasion began. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to the reporting right before the invasion. So you look at June 30th, right? So this is two months before the invasion. It's at 29 cents. 
right? 0 0.2910, right? As of June 30th. You go to the next reporting date, uh, which is September, which was two months after the invasion. The exchange rate was 0 0.2906. Then going to December, it stayed the same at 0 0.2906. All right, so we saw no rate change between that time period, none at all whatsoever. Right, so now let's go to the next reporting period. All right, so the banks reopened on March 25th, 1991. So this was the reporting rate, uh, March 30th, 1991. The rate was still the same at 0.2906. All right, so let's go to the next reporting date, June 30th, 1991. Well, it actually went down just a tiny bit, uh, almost one penny at 0 0.2 at 28 cents or 0 0.2820. And it was of September 30th, 1991, right? One full year after the invasion, 0 0.2867. All right, so folks, there right there just shows that there was no rate changes, right? According to the information concerning uh, from the United States, and there was no like new official rate as if, as if they revalued. If they have to sit down every three or four months and decide if they need to ch change the exchange rate, that's all that was. There was nothing revaluation. There's nothing revealing about a revaluation in this information. Currently the quitty dinar is at 30 cents. All right, so what I'm what I'm doing is now I'm going to show you the historical rates going back before the invasion. August of 1990. I'm going to blow this up so you guys can see can see it better. August the 1st we saw a rate of 0.2877. All right, in the day of the invasion, it was the same. And the day after the invasion, it was the same. And so on through the month of August, the rate never changed. You can see the different percentages, whether or not if it changed, right, all the way through August, September, October, no change. November. No official change in the rate. December, January. No official change in the rate. February. No official change in the rate. 1991. Now keep in mind the banks reopened on March 25th. So when we get to the beginning of March, the rate is still the same. 28 cents almost 29 cents so on the day that the bank opened right you can see the proceeding there was no change at all in the exchange rate a slight change which happened on april 10th it went from 0.2877 to 0.2874 and they kept that that they kept it that way look june August 1991 then on September 17th of 1991 there was another rate change it went from 0.2874 to 0.2886 all right and I think that's where it began it stayed like that for a few days and then it began to fluctuate it started moving again right so during that whole time during from the invasion all the way until the banks reopened right up through April there was no rate change at all whatsoever so when you are getting your Intel from people that are telling you or that are using the Kuwaiti dinar as a foreshadow or as an example they're giving you wrong information so I just proved right then and there the information has been out there that there was no Kuwaiti dinar revaluation and just going even further uh, look reading information PDFs from the, the, the Central Bank of Kuwait 
and it details all the stringent things they did to make sure that people were not turn, turning in counterfeit notes or notes that were not supposed to be in circulation. Uh, there was a lot of things that it would have been very difficult, especially as a non Kuwaiti citizen within that area, to be able to exchange your Kuwaiti dinars for the new ones. Because that's all they did. They just exchanged the old ones for the new ones. And the only people that benefited is those people who may have hoarded the Kuwaiti dinar. The street value of the Kuwaiti dinar, I think, would be a lot less than the official rate. So knowing that, there could, there would have been people that would have taken advantage of that. If they knew what they were doing, and they actually were able to get it at maybe the street price as instead of the official rate price right if you were currency trading uh, back then uh, according to the official rate it would not have changed you would have had to get your dinars you would have had to get physical dinars and if you already lived in the United States you were not ordering off online you would have had to order through a bank and then I believe that even a lot of the trading was even suspended Obviously, it did not move during the time of the occupation. So as we go into, as we get closer and closer to the Iraqi dinar revaluation, uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be pumping a lot of information, and they're going to use that to try to convince you that's why you should believe them. Right? And so the Kuwaiti dinar never revalued. And uh, I'm going to leave all these links down below in the description. All right, and you can do the research yourself, and you can do all the reading yourself. So that way, you're not getting sucked up when somebody brings that when somebody brings this up, because then you can go to the data yourself and show that particular person that there was no Kuwaiti dinar revaluation. So, anyways, folks, I hope you guys learned something, and I hope that whatever information that you guys are going on these newsletters and chat rooms. And all that, uh, all everything that we do is all speculation, right? We try to bring you information, we try to bring you news, try to bring you articles, right? And we try to discuss it, we give our theories, right? But this, the Quiddy Denar revaluation is not a theory. It never happened. So if somebody tells you that it did happen, it did not happen. So there is a difference. So if I'm giving you information, if I'm sitting here on this channel telling you that the Kuwaiti did not revalue, but yet I'm giving you all this other information, right? Part of what I'm telling you, despite the evidence, is not correct. So that's that's one of the reasons why I want you guys to continue to do your research in whether it's the dinar or stocks or cryptocurrency for the very reason why they're being called a guru was based off of the Kuwaiti dinar revaluation then you have to consider everything else that is coming out after that. Now, nobody's perfect. You know, we, we can be wrong on our theories. We could be wrong in our speculation. But nobody that I know that is on YouTube is saying that the Kuwaiti dinar are valued. That I've heard. If, if they did say it, I didn't hear it. So anyways, folks, God bless. Thank you for listening. Twitch the Christian out.